Hello, everybody, and welcome to Insight Innovation Exchange 2014, brought to you by Green Book and Gen2 Advisors, proudly supported by Research Now. I am here with the wonderful Rudy Nadillo from Dapracy. Tell me a little bit about today. You know, we're just starting, we're just kicking off the conference out there. I was walking around earlier, there's a ton of energy around there. I think there was 600 and some attendees out there. Oh, it's amazing. 650 people. I was just at MRA last week and they had 520. I mean, mm -hmm. the Green Book staff should be so proud of themselves with the attendance they've attracted. It's amazing. Excellent. What brought you out for Insight Innovation Exchange? What makes it different for you? Oh, this is completely different than any other conference out there. Mm -hmm. um, you go to the other conferences, you have the same old, same old people who were there, clearly important folks. Every time I come to Insight Innovation Exchange, it's just a fresh, fresh set of faces I've never seen before, which is great. And Dapperty, we're talking, you, you had a great coin for the term in terms of visualizing business intelligence. Yeah, right? we call it visual business intelligence. So where is that in our industry? If you look at, this is all about insights and innovation, obviously, but when you look at data viz and you pair data viz with big data, that seems to be quite the future of where we're going in many automated things for our industry. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about data viz and as a category, how important it is. Well, I think that every client we speak to, and actually in my presentation today, I talk about comments from Lenny's blog, mm -hmm. where people are just saying, you know, uh, management is tired of seeing numbers, they're tired of seeing tables, mm -hmm. they're tired of seeing decks of information that maybe one slice of that deck is important right. to them. And what data visualization does is allows you to deploy information so the right person sees the right data at the right time within the context of visually engaging graphics. Sounds like a simple enough problem, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so now in terms of that though, it's super complex because you have, the, whether you think of it as the old school right brain, left brain mentality, of you know, the analytical versus the creative. Where does that balance come in and how do you guys tackle that problem? Well, we think of it as three layers. The okay. first layer would be a metrics-based dashboard. Mm -hmm. You know, senior managers want to go in there and let's say they have this cup and this is their product. They want to see something visual. They can relate to their product and maybe there's a graph that fills up the cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, simple okay. enough. Um, they also want to see um, uh, pictures that are part of their business and they want to see the key metrics all on one page. Then, if you click through, maybe middle managers want to get a little more granular. They want to see some more information about their information. They also want to be able to filter and say, I want to look at this region, this product, this time period, whatever it might be. And then you have the research analysts who want to drill in further and run cross tables on the fly. So you need to address all three of those audiences, and Dapracy does a really good job doing that. When you think about that in the future, you know, Michigan State's doing a big thing right now. They have a big consortium of people going on. All the MSMR programs, you know, we're right here at Georgia Tech. Um, all of these programs are looking at the future and the future of our industry with the future talent of our industry. From your vantage point, from big data, from visualization, <laughs> visualizing business intelligence, what does that future look like from a professional standpoint? Who do we need to go after? What are the skill sets that it really takes to be successful from your part of the industry in the future? Um, well, I'll address the industry in general, and mm -hmm. I've heard this from someone else, so this isn't my thought, but I think people who are into anthropology mm. would make great researchers to come in in general. Okay. Um, with that said, for Dapracy specific, we need people and, uh, who are technically savvy, mm -hmm. um, who know their way around the mouse, as I like to say it, uh, people who um, understand visualization, and people who are, in a way, generalists. They have to clearly understand research data, they have to understand the files and have a, you know, a knowledge of statistics and things like that. But then they have to be able to step back and look at the big picture and be able to create a story. Uh, Dapracy is all about storytelling and being able to unfold the onion and tell a story and mm -hmm. weave people through. And it takes a different mindset to be able to think that way. Excellent. Well, I'm hoping that you'll uh, continue to have a great experience at the conference this week. Thank you so much for taking the time to You're be welcome. with us. You're welcome. Pleasure Rudy. to be here. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.